for the TMXC Adventures, Lisa here. Hey, look, I love cookie dough, okay? I am a convert to cookie dough. I have come a long way with my thermomixing over the last 10 years this month. Uh, from TM31 days, those of you who have a TM31, comment in the chat, say, yep, I've had one or I do have one. Uh, then I got the TM5, okay, so it was 31, TM31 when I started, TM5 next up. And we had that for four and a half years and then the TM6. And on the TM5, we had guided cooking, but not the ease we know it today. If there were recipe chips for the side that sucked on and they cooked the basic cookbook or the vegetarian book or whatever it might be, you could connect them up online to your iPad, but it was a synchronization process. Not the ease and the creativity that you find in the cookie dough on the TM6. Same recipes, it really comes down to ease of use. So today, uh, we're gonna go through this recipe. It's brand new to me. I found it on the weekend. It's rated quite well. And I love that I keep finding new stuff to share with you guys. And I don't find it hard to find new stuff. So I hope you enjoy these videos. I hope you do actually get value from them. You go and try these recipes. Um, that's actually really what makes me happy is to know that you are getting more and more out of your Femo Mix. So with that in mind, let's try this recipe. I don't know if I'm gonna pronounce it right, but it's it sounds like it could be horchata, okay? It is Texan, Texas, from Texas, from a Texas collection. Um, so it's from the US though. So when you look at this recipe in a moment, you're gonna see it's in ounces. With ounces, we don't worry, okay? The Thermomix takes care of the conversion for us. The only tricky part is shopping lists, okay? Because when you go shopping and it says, oh, I want two ounces of oats, well, we're almonds today, you go, what's two ounces? So a little rule of thumb, okay? Multiply by three and add a zero. So when I was guesstimating how much I needed to bring in for this video today, I just was like, okay, two ounces. Multiply by three is six, add a zero, 60, 60 grams. There you go, all right? So I hope that helps someone today. By the way, make sure you like, subscribe, all that jazz so that you get kept up to date with these videos. So let's get straight to start cooking. And by the way, I've started it already. Come on, there we go because I figured you didn't want to see me mill this down. Okay, so I'm going to tell you what's in here, I'm going to tell you what I've done, and then we're going to finish it together, because it's not done yet, it's a powder. Okay, so first things first is it asked for two ounces of raw almonds, okay, in they went. So that was raw almonds in the Thermomix. Three ounces of sugar, I use monk fruit sweetener, use whatever your preference is. Obviously this first step is dry ingredients, if you're using, say, rice malt or something, then wait off and do it with the water step, okay? Next up is long grain rice. It says white. We don't do white. We got brown. Just use what you've got, okay? I'm sure it'll be fine. Might just taste a bit more ricey. Now it's got um, Mexican cinnamon or normal cinnamon. I just use normal cinnamon, followed the recipe. A pinch of nutmeg and then on with the lid. And now it actually mills down, speed 10 for 20 seconds. You scrape the sides and then it's got another 18 seconds on speed 10, okay? And that is where we're up to now. By the way, we've had a massive busy day cooking today. Uh, we found that a whole lot of our pumpkins that we've stored, uh, they were put in the fridge, a handful of them, about 10 of them, the fridge froze them. So now we're quickly cooking them up. So I've got steamed pumpkin happening out there. I've got it in a simmering basket and the Varoma. We've made pumpkin pie with our own short crust pastry that you can find on my Baker's Challenge. Go to my website if you want to check out that course. Um, so the short, sweet short crust pastry there. There is homemade condensed milk. I made a double batch of that and then made into beautiful pumpkin pie and made all by my, can you believe it, nine-year-old, okay? He did all this and there's still leftover pastry. I'm so excited. Hello, Linda, lovely to have you on. Hey, Andrea, lovely to have you on as well. So next up, let's continue on, uh, is vanilla. And by the way, the pumpkin pie recipe and the condensed milk is on cookie dough. Short crust pastry, the sweetened version, is on my course, okay? So next up, we've got then water, okay? So I've got 35 ounces, which, you know, I kind of worked it out, multiply by three, right? It's gonna bring it up to about a liter, so I guesstimated that, which I know is gonna be most of this container. This does serve six. I'm hoping on the fact that my kids will drink it with me, but we'll see how we go. I just, it's a little bit over, it doesn't matter. Now the lid goes on and it's got 40 seconds on the blend mode. Now, if you don't have a blend mode because you've got a TM5 or a TM31, 
um, you're spinning it up to speed nine. Okay, so 40 seconds speed nine is what you need. Just you know, go up gradually, go to speed four, go to five, six, seven, eight, nine, up like that, okay? So up we go, let's spin this up to blend mode. Blend mode protects the blades. I won't be able to talk over it, so I'll just hold tight for a moment. and you make smoothies and stuff regularly, use your blend mode. What it does is it actually doesn't put quite as much pressure as quick to the machine, so it takes care of the chunks on the way. Otherwise, it's a bit like taking off with your car at the traffic lights, and then you hit a pothole, a speed bump, a stick, you know, your wheel hits the gutter, and the blades, think of the blades like those tires going around. They don't know, they don't have the predictability to know what they need to respond with. So it just hammers them, okay? Every time it hits a pothole or whatever, it's hammering them and it's jarring them. And the thing that's designed to wear in our thermomix are your, are your blade shafts. That is actually designed, what's designed to let go. Your motor won't, okay? It's electromagnetic. It's the blades. They're the part that will wear over time. When there are sales on at the mix shop, I would highly recommend buy spare sets of blades. There is nothing worse than your blades going and then you gotta wait for them to arrive, okay? So get yourself a spare set as a backup. Um, but yes, your blades are the part. If you ever find gray liquid in your little rosette in the bottom, okay? This wasn't on the plan of talking about today. Actually, when I, when I do this, I've never got a plan. But see this rosette part in here? If you've ever got gray liquid sitting in there and you get like cotton sticks, buds, I don't know what they're called, and you stick it in there and it's gray, that is your food grade oil out of your bearings in the bottom of your blades starting to go. It is the prime, you know, warning sign. Get yourself spare blades. Doesn't mean you need to put them in straight away, and I wouldn't. I'd wait till the blades go completely, but it's your, it's that telltale sign. If there is a 20% off sale because there's a, I don't know, what they do last time? Was it Black Friday or something? I'm not even sure, but if there's something on and you can get them discounted, get them discounted, okay? So let's have a look at what this looks like. It looks like frothy milk. It looks like a milkshake at this stage. I'm really excited to try it. I thought, oh, like I really love things that are, you know, you know the ingredients. It makes me happy to know what's in my food. Okay, also know that I'm not going to get a tummy ache from it, which is also fantastic. Hello, Claire. How are you? Lovely to see you. All right, so I'm just pouring this in the tea strainer. You could just use like a sieve. I just thought it was a good reason to get my uh, strainer out. Okay, I'm gonna strain this out. I think the instructions on the screen are telling me that, but I'm gonna have to have a look and see. You can see there's quite a, a gluggy residue left, which I don't need to pour in. Yes, yeah, so it says to put it through a sieve, serve over ice. I tried to get the ice out of the ice maker, and thanks kids, scrapings is all that's left, which has now gone and melted on me. So, this looks like it needs a bit of a stir on the way down to get all the liquid out. It is quite a thick kind of feel to it. You can see it's somewhat separating in there. That's okay. Anyone make their own coconut milks, almond milks, oat milks, you'd be familiar with that, or even rice milk, you'd be familiar with that separation that you get. Um, I tend to put mine in a jar or a bottle. I can put the lid on and just shake it back up, okay? The longer you let it sit, the more the water will fall out of it. There is nothing in this that actually holds it together because it's real ingredients, okay? You can see that how thick that is. It's still coming out everywhere. I really just want to taste it, but I'm going to make a really big mess. Actually, I know what I can do. Rather than waiting for it to strain, because, you know, no one wants to wait too long on online. Let's shake this over to here. There we go. I can come back to that and restrain it. And let's put some in a glass, and I'll tell you what I think water in my glass oh well little water it is that's from the ice cubes melting let me tell you what I think so this is for those watching on the 
horchata from Texas, the collection on Cookie Doo. It's a US recipe. If you can't find it, your filters aren't set to include all English spoken recipes. Have a look at your filters. If you're having trouble, reach out. I'll guide you through how to change them so that when you search for an ingredient or a recipe, you have a selection to choose from. I actually should take a photo of this. But anyway, let's have a taste. It's really nice. Give this a go, okay? I'd happily drink that. It's a mixture, it definitely has that mixture of rice, almonds, that little bit of sweetness to it. It's probably a little bit sweeter than my liking because you guys know we generally pull down the sweetness. But very palatable, very nice. Beautiful this summer when it comes to the warmer weather. So put this on your to-do list, give it a go. Give it a go with your family. You know, being that it's got almonds and rice and stuff, it is going to be a little bit filling as well, which is always nice. But always, guys, if I can help you with anything with your Thermomix, I'd love to hear from you. Okay, if you are in Australia, I'd love to support you to get one if you're watching along and you don't have one. Um, if you have a TM5, we have a TM5 upgrade offer on at the moment. I'd love to support you to get the TM6 on the bench and then most of all, get the most out of it, all right? But otherwise, have a fantastic rest of your day. Two days in a row, Andrea. I love that you managed to catch me live. I'll be back tomorrow for some more cooking. It's a Friday already. This week is just flying by. But I look forward to seeing you. Give some of these recipes a go. Give that pumpkin pie res recipe a go if you've got pumpkin needing to use. The Alaska from last night was phenomenal and I can highly recommend this, this drink as well, which is called the horchata, just in case you need to find it on Cookie Doo. But otherwise, take care, guys, and I'll see you again in the next video soon. Bye for now.